new report in the New York Times reveals that Democratic Senator Bob Menendez's wife, Nadine, hit and killed a man with her car in 2018 before she and the senator were married. And this car crash is allegedly what started the bribe that was listed in last month's federal indictment against Senator Menendez, his wife, and three others. The indictment claims that two of those co-defendants offered to help buy Nadine Menendez a new Mercedes in exchange for the senator interfering in the prosecution of one of the co-defendants' business associates. Nadine Menendez's lawyer told the New York Times, quote, my understanding was this individual ran in front of her car and she was not at fault, unquote. Joining us now is CNN's John Miller. John, thanks for joining us. So according to the Times, Mrs. Menendez was not tested for drinking or drugs after the crash. How unusual is it for police to not check for that after a, a deadly car accident? Well, in the state of New Jersey, uh, to get a test like that in a motor vehicle accident, even one with a fatality, there has to be not probable cause, uh, but at least reasonable suspicion observed by the officer that the person might be in intoxicated condition or on drugs. That would be slurred speech, unsteady on her feet, smell of alcohol on the breath. And police don't observe any of that at the scene, according to their report. And when you look at the video, she's articulating the words clearly. Um, she appears to be steady. So it's not something that they could have done absent one of those factors. Sport video, a retired police officer arriving on the scene saying that his wife was friends with Ms. Menendez uh, and was asking about any potential charges. Does that raise your antenna at all? I mean, it would raise my antenna just because it should. But if you listen to at least what's recorded on tape, I think what's more significant is what he's not asking. What he's asking is, um, he's a retired officer, um, he's asking is if the prosecutor's office is going to be involved. In Bergen County, New Jersey, if there's a fatal accident, the prosecutor's office actually runs the team, along with the sheriff's department, that comes to the scene of fatal accidents and investigates. What he's not asking is, he's not taking the officer on the side and saying, is there anything we can do? Um, can you help us out? Is there a professional courtesy? He's just asking if the prosecutor's office is going to be notified, and he's told, yes, it is, and he says, well, I understand why, indicating that he understands the victim has passed away. So Richard Coop was the individual killed in the accident, and his family has lots of questions. Um, who makes the call on whether an investigation into a, a fatal car accident like this stays open or, or is closed? Well, this happens in the township of Bogota, New Jersey, um, and their police department responds and they immediately control the scene. But ultimately, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and the Sheriff's Bureau of Criminal Investigation take over the processing of the scene and make the determination on criminal charges. In this case, there were no criminal charges brought. There was no summons issued um, based on the video they recovered and her statement. She said, I was driving along. The individual darted out between cars, and the next thing I know, you know, he was on top of my windshield. That is roughly it. Absent something to disprove that, it would have been difficult for them to bring a criminal charge. Uh, they issued a subpoena for her phone, though. And, Jake, this is important. It means, was she texting when, when she didn't see him? Was she talking on the phone? Was she doing something else? And we don't have in any of these reports the results of that subpoena. So a couple of more questions we have to run down.